Welcome to Ole Football, and this is Man City's academy players that became stars elsewhere. When Riyad Mahrez left the club last summer, it served as a signal for the young players of the Manchester City Academy. The first player who seemed perfect to replace him was Cole Palmer. It was a logical decision since he had progressed through all levels of the Manchester City Academy, proving himself as an ideal replacement for Riyad Mahrez, who had moved to Saudi Arabia. His speed, dribbling, ball control, and cold demeanor made him a perfect fit for Guardiola's style. Palmer started being integrated into the first team from 2020 and even scored in the Champions League against Bruges. The UEFA Super Cup match against Sevilla in 2023 was supposed to mark his full start with the senior team, but the signing of Jeremy Doku disrupted Palmer's plans. He wanted to go on loan for a year, but he was presented with a choice, either stay and fight for a spot or be sold. Chelsea heard this and quickly acquired the promising Englishman for £40 million. Everyone thought that nothing good would happen to him there because of the chaos in the club, but since his move to London, he has been Chelsea's only transfer who managed to play consistently and maintain a high level, earning the name Cold Palmer. Despite his inability to do laundry or cook, it doesn't hinder him from cooking on the pitch. I want him to keep cooking because he definitely has massive talent. From the age of 13, Manchester City had been tracking Jadon Sancho when he was still playing in the Watford Academy. When he turned 15, they invited him to join them, despite having options to join the academies of Liverpool and Arsenal. However, he chose to accept the offer from the citizens. Sancho exhibited exceptional technique, striking ability, speed, and quick decision-making from an early age, leaving academy coaches impressed. His impressive performances caught the attention of the England U-17 national team coaching stuff, and he joined them for the Euros, where he showcased his high level of skill, earning a spot in the team of the tournament and being named the tournament's best player. He continued to shine in the Manchester City Academy, and the media started pressuring Pep Guardiola to include Jaden in the first team squad. However, Pep stated that he needed time and experience. This angered Sancho, and contract negotiations reached an impasse. As a result, Pep did not fulfill his promise to take him on the preseason tour of the United States. In August 2017, Sancho was sold to Borussia Dortmund for £8 million. Jaden became a trailblazer for English players who were hesitant to leave the country and play outside of England, and this risky move proved successful. At the age of 23, Jaden Sancho has already experienced numerous significant events in his career. His outstanding performances for Borussia Dortmund winning a couple of trophies with them, reaching the Euro 2020 final at Wembley, and transferring to the rival team Manchester United in one of their most expensive deals in history. Sancho was eager to return to Manchester and prove to City's management that letting him go to Dortmund was a mistake. Ironically, he also faced troubles in United and once again fought with a manager. We await the revival of his career at Dortmund once again and wish him luck doing so. Brahim Diaz is currently the oldest on our list and his journey is quite interesting. The scouts at Manchester City were aware of the Spaniard's talent for a long time as they had been following him since his days in the Malaga Academy. When he turned 11, the head of La Masia went for a trial and even met with the player's father to convince Brahim to join Barcelona's academy. That was the first time Pep Guardiola and Brahim Diaz crossed paths. However, the transfer fell through because at that time, the Malaga management offered better development conditions to Brahim. Along Along with a commitment to promote him to the first team when he turned 16 years old. They also provided his parents with a good house, a car, and financial compensation of 100,000 euros. For this reason, he didn't join Catalan Club. But in 2014, Diaz moved to Manchester City, and two years later, Guardiola followed suit. Since their last meeting, Diaz honed his skills, with speed, ball control, and versatility becoming his strong points. Pep held a high opinion of the Spanish talent, and in the 2017-18 season, he started getting chances in the first team. In the following season, he marked his presence with a brace against Fulham. However, in January 2019, Real Madrid made an offer that was hard for Diaz to refuse, and he moved to the Spanish capital for £15.5 million. With Real, he won La Liga and the Spanish Super Cup, but didn't play as frequently as he would have liked. As a result, he went on loan to AC Milan, where he showcased an excellent level and became a key player for the club, helping them win Serie A in the 2021 122 season. In the current season, he has become Carlo Ancelotti's joker, and we hope he will soon become one of the crucial players for Los Blancos.
A Ghanaian with a Dutch passport, Jeremy Frimpong lived in England for many years and joined the Manchester City Academy when he was nine years old. Despite his talents and strengths such as speed, the ability to deliver key passes, and remarkable defensive abilities, he didn't believe strongly that he would ever make it into the starting lineup of Manchester City. For this reason, he decided to leave the club and join Celtic for €380,000. There, he showcased an incredible level of skill and became a key player under the management of Neil Lennon. In the summer of 2020, 21, he joined Bayer Leverkusen where he truly became a star in the Bundesliga, especially in this season under Xabi Alonso management. Frimpong expressed his desire to return to Manchester City in the future and play for his boyhood club. So, if there is a need to find a replacement for Kyle Walker, we know exactly who will be at the top of the list of priority transfers, because he appears to be a perfect fit for the next era of Man City, and they will undoubtedly have the finances for this transfer, given his current market price of 50 million euros. Eric Garcia is an interesting player to say the least. Born in Barcelona, he joined La Masia, where he was a top prospect. In 2017, he joined the Manchester City Academy, and from 2018, Pep Guardiola began integrating the young defender into the first team, providing him with opportunities in the FA Cup and the Premier League. Despite the trust from Guardiola and becoming the main defender in the club alongside Americ Laporte during the pandemic, he chose not to extend his contract with the citizens and returned to his hometown, Barcelona, as a free agent. Ironically, this return did not live up to expectations, despite his high football IQ and defensive abilities, with a skill for reading the game, his weak athleticism and low speed make him a prime target for opponents. Xavi attempted to find a place for him in the lineup, experimenting with him as a defensive midfielder, but eventually loaned him to Girona, where he is showing a phenomenal level this season. Hopefully, they will win La Liga this season, and he can prove to Xavi that he was a missing piece in Barcelona's defense this season. James Trafford joined the Manchester City Academy in 2015 at the age of 12, where he became the main goalkeeper. Coaches noted his incredible level of concentration for a young player, reflexes, and ability to save the ball from close distances. Unlike many players on this list, he was indeed sent out on loan to other clubs. He had the opportunity to play for a Crington Stanley and Bolton. There, he showed a very good level for a young goalkeeper and at one point held the second spot in clean sheets. Guardiola closely monitored the goalkeeper's progress. At one point in 2020, Trafford made a bet with Guardiola during training that if he could save a penalty from him, he could ask Guardiola for anything. James successfully saved the penalty and asked Guardiola to make him the starting goalkeeper in the next match, to which Guardiola honestly stated that he couldn't do that. After a triumphant UEFA Euro U21 tournament for England, where he was the main goalkeeper, he moved to Burnley for £19 million, where he continues to gain experience, so it is entirely possible that in the future he may fulfill his dream and play for his boyhood club. Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments. Who is the next top prospect from Man City's Academy and why? I'd love to read your answers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, love this game, and I'll see you next time.